A super special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond in supporting the channel. If you want to join them, consider becoming a patron. The link as well as the associated perks are in the description down below. Hey everyone and welcome back to Ravenhurst mod. So I'm finally back at the base. I dropped off everything. I already used the one twine that we got in like the half all of those shelves. And repaired my bike because I hit a boulder and only had like 6-7 HP left. So it was so close to break. It was actually practically on fire already. Um, I'm actually busy making myself uh, the resources required to make the Blacksmith's Forge. Blacksmith's Forge. There you go. Boom. So in 2 minutes 13, we'll be able to make ourselves some steel finally. The reason I want steel is because... Ta-da! Let me just... Click. Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, with all the zombies around my base, I was able to get the last skill in. And now I was able to unlock this over here. Unlocks crossbow repeater and tungsten arrows and bolts. So we don't have tungsten yet, unfortunately, but at least the crossbow repeater is awesome. I'm hoping it uses normal am uh, arrows. It says if you kill any zombie with a crossbow repeater, 225. But to make the crossbow repeater is a little bit expensive. Just a teeny tiny little bit. 50 steel. Now, I could go and wrench like street lamps and stuff and just get more steel that way. But a blacksmith's forge, it's about time that we actually make ourselves one. I'm going to go sell this to the trader. We will need to go do the other quest as well. And when we get back, I'll do that. I need to also work on my base. We have 11 blocks on us and 50 over here. Unfortunately, that's all. Because I need more space over here. I need to move just first sort where everything goes. And then I want to make more boxes. But I actually want to move the boxes into like this corner. Put a full wall in and everything. Because when I'm standing over here. Right here, the zombies hit this wall or they hit down there. I'm just afraid that the cop... I don't know how powerful the, the fire is. But I have played mods before where if the wall catches fire. The fire goes one block through the... the cobble and it actually burns the wood on the other side so i don't want to take that chance just in case that can happen i actually wanted to make my home base on top over here but i think that's going to be too dangerous as well due to your hordes so basically what we need to do now is just use the 50 blocks to get as far as possible just putting a roof on and then i want to move all the storages from there to like there or from there to there just just away from where they actually vomit when i'm standing over there for example shooting down at them standing on top throwing molotovs i'm just afraid these boxes are going to get destroyed and I definitely need way more storage. Look at that. That's full. I actually want to put all the cement, stone, and um, sand together. All the iron and clay together. All the oil shale. Like, make their own boxes. At the moment, this is just way too full. Also, I'm smelting down all of the stuff we got at Tesco over here. But once again, we, I can't even take the resources out over here because I won't be able to put them back in. Look at this. Oh, wait. You can. Wait, what? Since when? You can't even do that over here. Look at that. I, I'm clicking, but I can't place it there. That's awesome. Okay, but yeah, um, we can't even place this right now to make the steel. Although I wonder... We can always just move it later. It's so huge, though. See, this is also another reason why we actually have to go... It's huge. Uh, this is another reason why we have to move the base around a bit, because it's so huge. I'm hoping it's possible to pick this thing back up, because it's so... It's literally going all the way to over here as well. Man, this thing is huge. But yeah, this is where you make forge chrome and aluminium and steel and stuff. I need the steel. Oh, we need carbon. How do you get carbon? No recipes for this. So you have to go and mine it. But where do you get carbon? I don't think I have actually picked up any carbon at all. Unless you need to use a steel pick when mining to have a chance at actually mining it. Like how when you wrench, you have to use a crowbar to get car parts, but a wrench just to get normal stuff from a vehicle. I really don't like this at the moment because you have to get close for them to spawn in. Oh, my water and food's also very low, so my stamina is going to take a knock. I'm going to have to shoot right now. You can't run too far away from this thing, otherwise it's going to um, reset the zombies. But fighting on zombies on a hill like this is asking for trouble. How many of them are actually feral? I have to start using this gun more as well. To get my automatics up. You need to be careful, they're gonna aggro. Now that soldier's over there, he's not even paying me any mind. Uh, technically, I should put this on just in case. Say what? There was another soldier. Okay. But yeah, we have to see if we can't get this automatic skill up as well. So even if this AK breaks, that's fine. 
if I can start making myself AKs and M60s and uh, ARs and stuff, that's going to be really, really awesome. Oh, are you kidding me right now? That's awesome. That's a really epic find right now. That is amazing. Okay, I'm actually really glad I got uh, went for this just now. And even, I had to, even if I had to use some ammo just now and use this gun and durability, that's so fine right now. Damn, that was an awesome find. I can actually put it on the knife as well for now, just to keep some space going over here. I'm going to sell all of this stuff to the trader, and then stuff we want to use at the base, I'll put it on the bike for now. Stuff that we don't want to sell. Okay, where are you? I have to first clear, uh, clear all these zombies. I don't want them getting in my way right now. Okay, we have to be careful over here with all these pigs. There's also going to be ferals and stuff in the roof. I want to stealth, but at the same time, if I can run through this place, why not? I think anything that can hold any books will loot together. What was that? Pistols, nice. Yeah, anything that can hold books uh, will loot together, and then the rest I'll just strip this place as we go out. There's also going to be zombies inside the roof over here. Be careful. I wonder if I can actually break this and uh, jump up there and surprise them. All I have to do is this. I have to put a ladder... Is this one dude? It looks like there might be some more stuff up there, but I can't see from that angle. I have to be careful of any potential zombies like falling on our heads and stuff like that. Yeah, this dude was over here. I think there's even more on the roof, so we have to be careful. Okay, and then we have to do this, this. Oh crap. Radiated. We'll let them break this door for us to make a hole and we'll just hit them with this to take away the radiation. Oh crap. We do that and then to kill them. I'm gonna save the ammo for the pig. Come on, make a hole. To make sure they don't start healing again. Okay, the bike has been hit again. And Big Mom's been hitting again. Big Mom. <laughs> I'm thinking of, uh, what's it called? One Piece. Okay, do this. I to be careful because all that just now drew- Ooh, nice. Drew so much attention to ourselves. Damn, okay, yeah, I knew there were going to be zombies falling from the roof, and I was like, still like, yeah, let's do it, it's easy, let's go. This just now could have been so bad. Okay, we put that on. I have to make sure from now on, everything that we loot, we loot with the Lucky Looter goggles on. But also, I just wasted so much ammo trying to kill the radiateds. Um, there's still going to be the Grace, the radiated Grace outside. We have to kill her too. Everything else I can loot quickly after. I think all these zombies already woke up as well. Imagine we can loot, get lucky and loot the soccer just from like a random thing. I know it's supposed to be like tier 5 loot and up. But just imagine getting lucky. Soccer. Boom. Now you can make any vehicle you want. Also this, as you can... Oh yeah, I'm finally able to do one shot. Nice. My mining skill went... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, during uh, the looting of Tesco, I just realized. During the looting of Tesco, I got a mining book. You know, one of those yellow books? I didn't even click that. That, that now allows me to one shot uh, dirt blocks. Nice. Oh crap, this might be a wandering horde. If it is, it's not too bad. Although, I think it's just me shooting all the other uh, ammo just now. Because I shot up the place trying to kill the radiators, it spawned all these guys. Crap. See, if we have the crossbow repeater, instead of reloading, 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 we can just keep shooting. At the moment, this is so dangerous because after every lead or reload, they can get us. Especially if there's ferals. But imagine if Feral's chasing and he can just go shoot, 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 reload. Shoot, 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 reload. Hello, Baldy. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm gonna close that door just in case. I have to be so careful right now because like I said, there's gonna be more Ferals and stuff, especially on the roof. And then when we're done, yeah, I just really wanna run through this place and loot all the junk. 
There's definitely going to be zombies on the roof over here. Okay, this is going to be bad. The nice thing is that you can actually knock him down with an arrow as well. I think that's one of the bolt skills. Oh, crap. Ooh, I have to do this better. Crap. No, 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 don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Peace, man, peace. I come in peace, although I want to take your head off, but I come in peace. Oh, crap. As long as I can make sure to hit him every now and then with a, with a uh, crossbow, you can make sure he doesn't heal every now and then. Okay, and also the fetch is on that side. You have to be careful. Sometimes there's another pig in here. These pigs are hostile towards you, so you have to be careful. Unlock. And now there's going to be some threats over here. Darkness Falls is still so fresh in my mind. In Darkness Falls, these, uh, the, the tourists and stuff can also vomit at you, so it's not just the cops you have to be careful of. Let's see if I can't make him explode and kill his friends. Even if that starts a fire, that's fine. Damn, you didn't really damage them. Why are you not eating, sir? There's food right there for you. What, do you need uh, the radiated big mom? The mummy pig. I don't really want to skin that because I know I'm going to have to go and um, make food out of it. And yeah, we, we can't make food out of it at the moment. For one. And then two, it's going to spoil if we do. There was definitely another dude over there just now. Come on, man. Only have 56 shots left, so I have to be really, really careful what I do right now. Hello, hello, hello. It seems the fetch is over here as well. It's awesome. Since this bow... No, see, I'm still using the bow right now because... Even though technically we have our crossbow repeater unlocked, I want to make sure that we can unlock the next thing as well. So even though we're not using the crossbow repeater, we can get that skill as high as possible, and then when we unlock that one, it's going to help us so much more. Okay, where's the piggy? The piggy has not spawned in yet. That is terrifying. Where the hell is she? It seems at least all of the zombies up here are gone. Wait, was that from the cop bomber? Damn! Oh, hello piggy. You finally spawned in. Like if I can just kill one shot of this feral white over here. See, I should have brought a, a pipe bomb or a molotov or something like that as well. Now that I didn't, we have a little bit of a problem over here because she has so much HP. And she can climb up here with us. That's one of the scary things. She can actually climb over here. I wonder if I should just go loot the other room first before we continue over here. There's two dots there, two dots there. I think, yeah, let's clear the place first. Hopefully she doesn't wake up right now. So we go through here. Oh, there's even more dots on this side. What the hell? Okay, then we go in over here. I picked up the frame over here. Let's just put this frame down in case I have to hop. Hello, scientist dude. That's messed up how he was hiding just now. You have to be careful when clearing this place. When uh, when there's an infested, there's two graces. If one's bad, two's even worse. And I think it's usually in this room over here. I'm hoping I can snipe them before they wake up on me. But I think, yep, they're inside the roof. Damn. How the hell am I supposed to see that one? 
So Grace is over there. There's still, still two over here. This pig's dead, right? Yeah. Oh, they're on top of this thing over here. I was about to say, where are they? I see the dots, but I didn't see them. Oh, crap. It's gonna start so much S uh, S what the S H I A S H I T. I couldn't spell for a second. What? I do not want you wreaking havoc over here. Thank you. Oh, so it's just the one dude in the roof now. But how the hell am I supposed to get to him? I wonder if I can break through the roof over here. Did she just wake up? Yeah, she just woke up. Come on, fall down. I don't know if you're radiated. What are you? No, you're not radiated. At least, yeah, you're not feral as well. Awesome. Now we have to get back on the roof to be able to deal with uh, this lady over here. This young lady. I wonder if I can shoot this and have a uh, attack doesn't explode. 2,800 HP. So we're going to have to jump on this roof fast. Okay, let's see how much damage I can. Technically, I should use the AK for this. Oh, nice. We got quite a bit of damage done just there just now. Wait. I was about to say, where is she? Did she not respond from there just now? I might be able to kill her with a bolt. What? Lady, you got weak. Are you going to try and get... Oh, that's bad. I didn't know that can happen. So just now, I could have fallen into that thing and I'd be stuck inside with her trying to get in. And she's in. So she wouldn't be trying for long and uh, she'd be able to kill me. Uh, don't destroy my loot. Okay, technically I should probably skin this one. This is a lot of meat, but if I skin this one, I have to skin the others as well. Oh, wait, what? She's also a Night Terror. She also had a Terror heart just now. That is, whoa. Awesome. First try. Come on, come on, come on. Before something attacks me from behind. I've been getting way more cops as well. And that's really bad because I'm so focused not getting hit. The other stuff can hit me. Or well, I'm so focused of trying to run away from the other stuff that the cop can hit me. I just wish we can finally use these notes. But unfortunately, we won't be able to use them until we find the research desk schematic. And that's also apparently only in tier 5 loot. So if I can get an un uh, radio or yeah non-radiated tier 4 tier 5 like super high quality one with a really awesome loot that would be amazing but most pure eyes are super super radiated okay my food and water's reloads right now so i have to be careful scrap that read that okay so now all i have to do is quickly go and wrench and take all of this stuff apart of here since i skinned oh i was about to say since i skinned her i can just well skin this one and then he disappears on me damn it's a shame you can't get steel from wrenching these, but you only get forged iron. Whoa, did I just get three engines from one... Damn. Three engines, one cement mixer. That's insane. Okay, I should probably go and drop stuff in my vehicle first before we continue over here. Okay, so I decided to rather just go for the resources. We were so full that I couldn't decide what I wanted to drop or not. That's the only problem with this vehicle is a, a small amount of storage you get. If it wasn't for that, this thing would be awesome. Uh, but yeah, basically just went for the resources, went back and dropped everything, mostly everything off. I want to do some base building during nighttime, but I need to get over here before we actually uh, run to 10 o'clock. We're getting way more nemesis zombies and bosses. And speaking of, now that we have a rad remover on this one, and we have another spare rad remover over here, I wonder... Oh, is this a wandering horde right now? Yeah, this is a wandering horde. Um, I kind of wonder, now that we have those, um, or well, we're starting to get more bosses, how we'll be able to kill them. We'll be able to kill them with the, the rad remover. My brain's all over the place. Trying to make sure no zombies make it to me right now. It's a shame we don't have a Molotov or something on us. 
So even though these guys are feral, as long as I can do, get that headshot in, it's so easy to miss. I'm making sure I get my bow skill as high as possible right now. We started to get way more boss zombies, nemesis zombies and stuff spawning. So now that we have the two rad removers, hopefully that means we can actually kill bosses. We had that one nemesis zombie attack us at the base and we were never really able to kill it. No, we, we did kill it. I keep saying, saying we didn't kill it. We killed it, but it took so much ammo to kill. I think it was a few stacks of ammo because the thing kept healing and healing and healing over and over and over again. There's some ferals underneath us. I should be careful they don't come up underneath the trade over here, but I think I took the ladder out downstairs. Okay, forge steel, yes. We need 50 forge steel. So if we can do another quest and get the steel that way, awesome. Um, Iron hammer, we don't need. Claw hammer, we don't technically need. I'm going to go for crafting uh, notes and, because we need to get all of the stuff as high as possible. At the moment, I'm using all my points solely on the like uh, action skills and perks and stuff. There's a zombie up here with me. I can't even put uh, stuff in the doors to block them off. In case something does make it up here with me. Okay, clear zombies downtown. Grand Forks Estate. Let's go for the estate. Downtown apartments. I don't want to go downtown in the middle of the city. God bless you. Okay, so yeah, if I can get some more steel that way, that'd be epic. And then unfortunately, yeah, you're not selling steel. I wonder if Jen's selling any steel. I need 50 steel, man. That's a lot. Why did I just do that? They just sell these. You don't want them? Okay. The Terra Heart, I don't know if it's actually going to be used for anything. But I'll sell it. Oh, that's so creepy. That was exactly a 10. <laughs> I was like, wait, whoa, that's awesome. Um... Yeah, I, can I just need some steel. So I can go for some lights, wrench them. But especially now that it's nighttime, we have to be so bloody careful. It's been a real pleasure. You watch yourself out there. Oh, I will. It's super dangerous out there. Yep. Oh, there's a boss over here. That's a boss. That's a boss. That's a boss. Oh, oh, and he's fast. He is fast. Let me just get inside. Get inside. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, so while those zombies are coming for us, let's quickly put in a roof over here. Probably also put a hatch. The, the quicker we can put a roof in, the better. Because then if something were to get through and I have a hatch on top of here as well, we can just hide inside a base. I wonder how much more cobble can we make? Can I can I make a whole room? Wait, what just... Oh, uh, that. I was about to say, what was uh, going to cave in just now? It looked like it was going to cave in. Yeah, I need to sort my base over here, and the only real way to sort it is by destroying everything and moving everything around. Potentially, we could put the blacksmith's forge in the corner over here, where the storages are, and move the storages to this side over here. And the nice thing is you don't have to make more storages. For those who don't know, in um, Ravenist, if you go and pick up a container, if, you, if I destroy this container, it picks it up. It just doesn't just go and destroy it, it, picks it actually picks it up. I think I should put the storages either over there or over here. Or, like I said, inside these uh, nooks and crannies of here. Oh, which side? This side, that side. Okay, um, to make Molotovs, you need fuel, oil, and cloth. How much fuel do we have? Not enough to waste. I could make two Molotovs with this, but we'll have to definitely make ourselves some more fuel soon. At least we do have quite a bit of oil shale of here, but we need more of those empty containers. So we need this, we need this, we need Molotovs. Hopefully with these two, we'll be able to burn most of them to death. I don't know whether these blue ones can actually heal themselves. It doesn't seem to be healing. It's just tougher, more HP. And I'm so tempted to go down there and just um, drive past the boss and uh, lure him this way. He needs to run this way so that in the morning I can quickly go and loot him. Okay, so now time for some moving. I should probably try and kill just these ones over here first. If too many of them actually start coming right now, they might make it over. But if I burn them quickly... Oh, holy crap! Speaking of the devil... See, the more I shoot right now, the worse it gets. <laughs> so technically, I should stop shooting. Come on. I need to throw one well-placed Molotov so you hit them all. And right there. Most of them are on fire right now. But yeah, as long as I can make sure that this hatch over here is lifted, we should be fine for now. Not for very long, but we for now at least should be fine. I also want to move these two, so as soon as this one's done, I have to move them. 
Hate that screaming. Stop it, man. Stop it. Okay, so we do need quite a bit of murky water. But for that, we're going to need to actually go and scoop some water. This is going to be dangerous. I need water. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Oh, imagine the boss is on this side now. He moved. I'm instantly dead if that's the case. Oh, it's so dark. I can't see a thing in front of me. Holy crap. That was close. That was close. That was close. We got quite a few of these purification tablets uh, from Tesco. I want to go and do this. Recipes, murky water. And then that murky water will be able to turn into mortar. And the mortar will be able to turn into cobble. It's a lot of steps to do this, to do this, to do this kind of thing. But at the same time, it's easy enough to understand. Okay, I need to eat that. I'll eat both of these, actually. It's about to spoil anyways. And one more. Why am I... F oh, wait. Is that another kind of boss? Or is it just because it's ra it's just because it's raining? I swear, if there's a boss that can actually make it cold and not just hot, that would have been really bad. Yeah, get wrecked, boy. I love the sledge. Oh, but the sledge has to be active. I need to be close enough to uh, have it active. Oh, that was right over your head. <laughs> it's completely 100% getting wrecked. Okay, so I need... Oh, look how few bolts we have. I think what I should do is smelt in all of this clay. We could make it... We could make way more bricks with it. But at the moment, uh, let's take that out. I need arrows. I need bolts. We're going to put this one in and just make ourselves a ton of bolts. It feels like all of a sudden there's way more zombies outside as well. 608. Yeah, we'll use all of the clay and smelt more clay in. It's 10 minutes. And yeah, let's put another one in just in case. With all the movement outside, we have to be so careful. I'm trying to make sure that we don't uh, draw too much attention to ourselves. Okay, for this. And I need cobble. Oh, no, we don't have enough cobble. We can make cobble by using clay and stone, but we don't really have that much clay. Unless I just use this clay to make some cobble. But even with all of this clay, we, don't, we can't even really make that much. That's the grindy part of this mod. The fact that it costs so expensive to make stuff. Cobble. Stone rocks. Oh, yeah, over here. Only 174 with all of that clay. No, thank you. Not at the moment. I'll rather smelt it over here, get some more uh, bricks, and be able to use those bricks to repair my base. Okay, so we need this. We need cobble. It's not going to be that much mortar. We also won't be able to make ourselves any um, cobble blocks right now uh, because uh, we're putting everything into mortar right now. So we need more cobble to be able to use the mortar and cobble to make cobble blocks. I don't think Jenna's reset yet. They reset on day 43. That was uh, the 12th of February. I think they reset like every three to five days, right? I'm not quite sure exactly how many days it takes to reset. That's the only problem. Okay, so if I were to put the storages in this corner over here and just move all of these away, where would I put these? I could possibly put all of the, the eating stuff on top of each other. This is farming. This is farming. I could potentially just put these things on top of each other over here. It's going to save some space. But it's going to look really ugly. That's the only problem. I want to have it looking nice, looking neat over here. I need to have a wall, though, just for storage. So I want to move it to this side. Technically, at the moment, this wall... As long as I can actually go and add a padded uh, layer... So if I can add another little bit of a layer over here... But the, the fire can't really reach the boxes. I wonder if I shouldn't just keep the boxes here, then. Because it's going to take so much work moving this. But the problem is this fridge. I can't pick up the fridge right now. It's going to stay in place. Perhaps put the boxes in the middle over here. I can move the boxes to about here, more or less. And then move the forge over to this side. Move the map as well. And then at least the, it's not going to be too far away from this over here. Okay, let's do this. So I am going to move the drinks first. I just realized something really unfortunate that I didn't think about. Um, I said that I want to move this stuff over here so I can put this forge in this corner. But we can't. Because this fridge can't be picked up. I think this can be picked up. Yep. As long as you take all the resources and stuff out of here, I think you should uh, you should definitely be able to pick this up. The problem is going to be, however, picking up the fridge. 
how do you pick up this fridge? Because you have to destroy it and make another one. And a fridge is not that cheap. Well, you can buy appliances from the trader, though. So instead of making your own appliances, you can buy the appliances. I wonder if I should go check whether the trader actually has some or not. Yeah, that might actually work. Also, I used my steel just now. Um, as you guys know, we need to start saving steel. Let me just see if I can put all this stuff away. We need to start saving steel because we need the steel for the um, the re crossbow repeater. But to make three more storages cost me 30 steel. It's 10 steel per T8. So yeah, unfortunately I had to do that just now. Uh, it cost me a little bit much. And then also, I think over here... Yeah. As soon as I had the three extra storages, moving everything over was way simpler. Now these are all our containers. So drinks, food, meds. Weapons, ammo, farming, vehicles, tools, all parts, all mods. So I split these two. Armors over here. Concrete mix materials. So anything that you use to make concrete mix. Iron, clay, wood, and oil shale. Building materials. and uh, So building materials is like steel, forged iron, any forged kind of stuff. And then this is miscellaneous. Yeah, basically any forged kind of stuff and any other resources that I didn't put in other containers going over here. And then these just go over here. Boom. Tools, I have to put that away. Put that over there. Okay. Now we can actually, if, if I can make another one of these, we can put this forge in the corner over there. And then we can move these a little bit slightly over. Technically, this one I can put by the door. So as soon as I uh, come in, I can just put stuff inside that needs to go and smelt into that. This one we could move as well. How many spaces is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, look at that. There's not enough space. I mean, I could just turn this one around, but I want to have a nice open section over here. And then when, as soon as I have an auger, I want to break these out so we can see the workstations easier too. Okay, I want to quickly go see whether that boss dropped something. Whether I can skin his heart or not. Most of the zombies died. That sledge turret worked overtime. I just, I, when I was downstairs, I could just, just hear the thing hitting, 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 hitting something the whole time. Oh, no, 5% left. I need to repair this vehicle soon. Okay, so either the corpse already despawned or he despawned before the nighttime was over. Like, if he got too far away from us, he's not over here anymore. Damn it. I should have probably just called him closer, but if that boss somehow managed to make it inside, then we would have had a massive, massive problem on the inside. And there's some more stuff on you. Yep. Okay, yeah, I need to make some repair kits as well. I just realized there's mortar. So instead of making my own mortar, I could have just used the stuff that I had to make even more concrete mix. Or even more cobble blocks, I mean. Okay, these should have definitely reset. I need those tunas. I'm probably going to have to go fishing. I need to find a nice water spot. So this one right there. Take a fishing rod and just go fish over there. Stand on like a, something high so the zombies can't get to me. You need assistance. Let's see. Um... Wait, what did I want to sell? I'm so confused. Why was I here just now? Oh, appliances. 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 There you go. 3,000. So we can make another fridge now. It's going to be a little bit expensive, but I want to move that one out of the way. Back Technically, now. I want to put all food-related items, the stoves, everything in one corner. So basically how they are now, but I need to move the fridge closer to them. But you guys, I'm going to call the episode here. I'm just going to do a little bit of base management and stuff. Um, and the next time we have to focus on as many quests as possible. Right now, we need ammo, we need guns, we need gear, and the only way to do that is through trader rewards and final stashes. And if we can get the steel that we need through that as well, through the trader rewards, that'd be awesome. I need 50 steel for that repeater, and as soon as we have that, we have a crossbow that can fire five shots. But yeah, if you guys like this uh, episode, please like, share with your friends, comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Ravenhurst fun. Members and patrons get shoutouts in all of my videos, get access to a private members-only Discord channel, and as a thank you for supporting the channel, get access to my 7 that I server. If interested, check out the links in the description down below.